I got really into drums now. I love that. Just getting into music. Totally. Hi, I'm the salon that's in every small town called Curl Up and Die, Trixie Mattel. And I've just entered the third and final phase of my second puberty, Katya. And we are not experts or life coaches or doctors. No, but we can help you save you from yourself. Yes, and if you watch the latest episode of Ah, uh, you know that we're gonna be answering questions from fans. And since we can't be together to film more episodes, we decided to answer your questions from home. These questions were tweeted at World of Wonder using the hashtag WowHelpMe. Help me, baby. Um, I gotta um, tell you this. I'm transformed. Why? I don't want to re-enter society. I don't want oh, to go back okay. to work. <laughs> yeah. And I hear that. This has made me reflect on why do you work so much? Why is it important for you to work every single day for the last five years? What are you trying to prove? Sit home and fucking cook tacos and do nothing. And may I tell you for the record that I've been saying this to you for about a year and a half? I'm sort of like, why, why do I only feel at peace when I have like two years of work stacked in front of me? When the real tea is, sit home and do nothing. I mean, but that's the tea. What? Your voice for a second turned into a devil computer sound. It was like, the oh, real problem is... That? <laughs> what I guess, what, I, I don't want to exaggerate, but I guess what I'm saying is, when this all goes back to normal, I will take a big chunk of this lifestyle and implement it. Not to mention me and you, all of our tours, none of them have been canceled. They've just been delayed. So it's not like we're like out of work. It's like, hey, this thing you had to do now, you just have to do it later. Which is like my ultimate dream. Postpone <laughs> everything. Postpone it all to next, next year. I know See you next year. It, because it means I have no work to do and no guilt. Because no it is guilt happening and, eventually. And job security, yeah. I mean, although you got to admit, it's going to be a whole different story. I can't imagine what like the meet and greet situation is going to be like. I think it's probably a good thing because, first of all, I don't think we should be shaking hands after this at all, no matter how long it's been. Or hugging. Or touching. Or leaving the house. Or talking to, <laughs> talking to anybody. <laughs> um, I, when I go for my runs every day, which I didn't go today, when I go for my runs, I don't wear a mask because I... Can't breathe when I'm running. I'm not within ten feet of a person, but I, I can't I, run with that mask on. I can't breathe. I can't walk with the mask on. I, uh, the ninety-nine cent store down the street from my house. I went to get the birthday candles for myself. It's not my birthday. Don't ask. <laughs> and I could. They wouldn't let me in without a mask. And I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go home and get the mask and come back. Now, what about a Halloween mask? Yes, thank you. You should have worn that. There was a congressman or somebody who was like, we're all in this because. Those Chinese drink bat blood and eat anteaters booty holes. What? That's literally what he said. And I quote. The disease comes from China. I saw this interview of him and he was like, the Lysol kills it in a minute. We could inject it. Oh, spitballing what? at a press conference. Spitballing. Sp I, Mama, literally just said, brainstorming. He said, he brainstorming. said yes and. He said yeah, he's zip like, zaps up. He said uh, UV light. Eh, but what about... For, Formula 409, stick it in a tube. What do we have? UV light, why don't you shine the sun in my asshole? And oh my God. What is with, what is with, I mean, what is with the, with the, the straights? The straights are, I spent a lot of time on YouTube since I've been home and I've watched a lot of straight people on the internet. Hmm. Why? <laughs> I don't know why what would you straight do people that? are doing. If you think <laughs> but drag queens nothing good. doing like influencer things is cringe. The straight, oh, straight people need to be yeah. shut down. A straight what is straight guys like on YouTube? I'll tell you. All the straight Logan guys have Paul. the same setup. It's sort of a fisheye lens, and like in the foreground, there'll be like a red neon light, and like on this side, there'll be like a blue light shining in their closet with all their sneakers. And it's always like, "Hey guys, what's up?" Blah 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 blah. Yeah, blah blah blah. And it's just, oh. it's so much. They look like a, an amped up version of a guy who works at the kiosk, the cell phone kiosk at the mall, the one who's always really pushy as you walk by. Yes. Yeah. And that's why all these straight girls are flicking their beans to us. Because right. the dudes they are looking at are fucking cooked, mama. <laughs> <laughs> fucking died, fried, and laid to the side. Just grilled and broiled up. <laughs> broiled up, sis. <laughs> Would you be interested in doing a, um, a uh, children's album? Um, no, I think I should leave that to like the Nina Wests of the world. Well, I want to. In Russian or like something, you know what I mean? Like a few different languages, but maybe have it a little bit scary, a little bit ooky. You could do French children's songs for people to play for their kids. And then maybe I'll get into babysitting. 
It's a slippery then, slope. I could see that becoming a huge side business for you. Sitting on the baby. <laughs> do you like to sit yeah. on the baby? In <laughs> so Sweden, we do not have babysitter. The babies, they sit on the, the, the chairs. The babies. Two weeks ago, I had an internet person come here to fix my internet, and I was in drag when they arrived because of timing. And I really thought I was going to have my, like... You know, like, I thought he was going to be like, is your boyfriend out of town? I was going to be like, I don't know. Like, I thought something might happen. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it was like, like oh, well, I'm like, done with oh. the internet, lady. You're looking awfully vulnerable. Are you yeah. amenable for a fuck? Yeah. What do you use your internet for? I was going to be like, mm. I was like looking up recipes. <laughs> breast implants. <laughs> breast in- breast augmentation. <laughs> and nothing happened. He sat across the room from me, barely, barely, did not acknowledge once yeah. that I was in full, full eight feet tall clown drag. In yeah. a pink house, he said nothing. He said, too gay, mom. I'm not interested. The he, same fixed thing the happened. he fixed the internet and left. And frankly, his professionalism disappointed me. <laughs> did you tip him? I did not. Okay. Um, Should I have? That, that, I, I, that's weirder for me to be in drag handing him cash. Would you like to stay long? No, because you yeah. can reach into your breast and pull it out and it's sexy. Wet. <laughs> yeah, but like, there's a lot more where that came from and a lot wetter, too. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I want to talk about something. Guess what? What is it? Guess what I just experienced for the first time, although ha- I've lived here for over three years. What? An earthquake. Oh, yes. Me too. I could not believe. So it was funny. It was like one or two in the morning, right? Like it was late. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I was touching on my makeup. I think I was doing cameos or something. And you were I, in drag. I was in total full drag. <laughs> and then, so I hear this crazy loud noise, but I'm on the first floor. It sounded like my upstairs neighbor had lifted up his entire bed, bed frame, like a four poster bed, and then just like thrown it across the room. Yeah. And that's that's what I just figured out. That's what I figured it was. I was like, oh, yes. it just must be like um, He-Man and arranging furniture because my house didn't shake at all. It's crazy. I live on the top floor. And so I heard it to me sound like it was upstairs. And I went, oh God. Somebody's on the roof. Like my mind went straight to, I'm in the penthouse unit. I have three patios and somebody's going to jump on one of the patios and rob me. So I literally skittishly ran in there and said, Alexa, arm the home security system. (laughs) And then my boyfriend called me and was like, did you feel the earthquake? And I was like, ah, yes, the earthquake. Yes, of course I did. I'm such white trash. I was like, it's a robbery. (laughs) They're going to get my dolls. All right, let's get into some questions from the bands here. I think that's a great idea. First question. Colton Sparks, first of all, do you do porn? Colton Sparks is a porn a porn name, yeah. How do I get my roommate to get out of the house and do something productive during this quarantine? <laughs> so you have corona. This feels great strategy. But also, um, your your roommate is compelled to stay home right now, so I don't really know what you want him to do. I need you to go, you know what? I, you're a little bit in my space. Can you go to the grocery store with no mask on and touch things with your face, please? Do they have a yard, tent, outside? You know what I mean? Camping. Yes. I think if you, it is important to get out of your house every day, even if for a 10 minute walk, it's a game changer. Absolutely. Or just stick your head out the window. Go. Stick your head out the window. Yeah. I, I've never been happier to have a patio. On these cool um, summer nights in Los Angeles, can't beat a patio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. And sis. That's not that period. period. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do I tell my boyfriend that I want to bring his friend into the bedroom and fuck me? I think the sensible way to go about that would be to be like, your friend is really cute. And so you get the temperature on it. No, I, I disagree. Because really? I'm a jealous hey, I'm you, a jealous person. So that would instantly- You uh, grab that knife off the wall, yeah, straight like, in the jugular. What the fuck did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, um, this is what I would do. I'd be like, you know, did you hear it? Like uh, my friend back home, Jeff had, he had, a, he had a threesome the other night. And I never thought he would do that because he's so like straight laced monogamy. That's when you, you, you know, you bring up the conversation from a third party and then get the, you know, feel the temperature. What do you, what, he's like, maybe he'll say, sounds kind of hot, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's a roundabout way. You get a good, you could be direct, which is more, I guess, grown up, but uh, well, I like to I, play It's games. not even that direct to say like, your friend is really cute, don't you think? I, no, because that makes me jealous. Oh, really? Okay. Your friend is really cute. I'd like to dump you and fuck him. You know what I mean? That's where my brain goes. Maybe the vibe is to be like, um, hey, and then like, um, 
and then after that, do like a, um, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, let it all be inferred. <laughs> and then after you're like, uh, and they're like, so you want to fuck my friend? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, yeah. okay. Yeah. It depends what kind of relationship you have, though. Honestly, if you're with somebody who's not going to go for it, you probably know that already. And like, if somebody's free with their body, you would have known it by now. And you yeah. would know that it's probably okay to ask. If you're nervous, sure. it's probably because he's going to say no. Cameron Levesque. My boyfriend's a loud chewer when we're eating dinner and I cringe every time. What should I do? That really is difficult. You know, no, no. See, this is where I would take a page out of your book and I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing with your mouth right now? You nip that shit right in the bud. You say, what the fuck is up with your nasty skate, like skeezing <laughs> fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is this your last meal on earth? Are you about to get like a- execution? Yeah, maybe it's good to be honest and be like, I don't know how to tell you this, but your chewing is really loud. No, and- no, no. Don't even, don't even do that disclaimer. Be like, your chewing is fucking brutal, man. What is up? Are you mad at that chomp, food? Chomp, 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 chomp. Yeah. <laughs> what that food ever do to you? Point? Yeah. What she do to you? That plate. <laughs> what that food do to you? Or what you could do is this. You t- Next time you bring one of those ASMR mics and you just casually. <laughs> and then they're like, what are you doing? You just play that shit back and be like, and that's on period. You say roll the tapes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when they roll the tapes, I would do that that Wendy Williams meme of her listening to music going like this. Yeah, I would listen to the chewing like it was music. And be like, do you see that? I shouldn't be able to dance to you eating. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't be able to get down to this sick beat, Ron. <laughs> but it, sometimes though, you have a friend that you've known for so long that you don't even like you don't even realize they're outrageous little character defects, but then you bring them along with a new group of friends and then suddenly like they're all in, you know, cast in the light of day. Yes, where you're like, you guys are gonna be obsessed with him. And then once you get in the temperature of this other group, you're like, I never realized that you are- A garbage rude. person. <laughs> or like, you know, or that friend you love where everyone's always like, your friend was kind of mean to me. I'm like, oh, he's funny, he's just being funny. Yeah. Or like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, totally. Me. Yeah. <laughs> well, one time, not to call you out, but um, I we were in a restaurant, me and Dallas and you in San Francisco, and you were painting your nails in the restaurant, like a crowded brunch restaurant. By the way, I painted them at that restaurant. Not today. <laughs> not, not for this. I remember that because the guy was like, can you stop painting your nails? Because I'm, I'm eating. Yeah. And, and I was like, oh, right. Sorry. I was, I felt so dumb myself. I was like, wait a minute. Why didn't I immediately recognize this as an inappropriate social behavior in a public setting and not, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, I felt just as embarrassed, in a, but I was impressed by that guy and his like directness and um, candor. You know what, his name? RuPaul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's how I got on Drag Race. <laughs> if you've got a question at home, tweet at World of Wonder using the hashtag Wow, help me. Oh, hey, what are you going to do tonight? Actually, tonight I'm going to film a digital version of my part of Riju Rochu for Digital DragCon. You're supposed to say I'm going to stay the fuck home. That's like the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <all right. laughs> hey, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to with a JoJo Siwa concert with 55,000 other people. Just kidding! I'm staying the fuck home in my apartment, closing all the doors and shattering the windows. Hey, hey. Fierce. Goodbye.